Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Surviving Mars. Today was a historic today. NASA landed a new rover on Mars, so I thought I would honor them by obviously playing a little bit of Surviving Mars. Um, this game came out in 2018, so it's about three years old now, but it is still a fantastic colony builder on the Red Planet. You guys came here to see the game, not listen to me talk, so let's hop ourselves in to a new game. Down in the comments below, let me know what you like about Surviving Mars. If you've played it, if you've played any other uh, Mars-related game, let me know what your favorite ones have been down in the comments below. Obviously, we're going to play as the United States, so let's switch over to that. We will leave our commander as rocket scientist, USA company or colony logo. Uh, we'll switch our mystery over to the power of three and leave everything else the same. And you can kind of see those bonuses we're getting. Next, we're going to pick what we put in our Atlas rocket. We will leave it with what they tell us to take. We'll take the drone hub and the fuel refinery and the Sterling generators. And then all these resources and the drones plus RC transport, Explorer and Commander. Next is the fun part in picking where we are going to land on the beautiful red planet. So let's go ahead and click random. It's got a lot of water, fair amount of concrete, okay amount of metals, uh, and not a lot of threats. I'm happy with it. So let's go ahead and select that as our start site, and I will see you guys on the other side of the load screen. All right, welcome to Mars Commanders. I am not going to read this whole screen. Basically, it's a welcome screen. Feel free to pause the video and listen to it if you would like. So we do start with one section explored, but there's only a little bit of concrete and some metal there. Let's go ahead and use our advanced orbital probes and scan a couple sectors, and we'll drop one there. And let's see what we got. We got a lot of water, a lot of concrete, an anomaly, no metals. That's okay. Let's check. Uh, we'll check this one here. A lot of metals, a lot of concrete, no water, and we are going to need water immediately at the start, so um, I'm going to actually land right there. I will start scanning these sections immediately around our base. There we go. So let's zoom in here, and this is where we're going to uh, start our colony. Um, good news is there's water right here, concrete right here. Let's see how much of each. 11,000 water and about a thousand concrete and it's high grade concrete so that is fantastic let's get our research going here um so there's six different sections and you can read the different titles there um some are going to be very important at the start others not so much um so like more applicants will appear on mars so that's decent but we don't need that immediately uh, but something like this so generate 100 per 100 research per soul for each rc explorer vehicle um yeah, we'll go ahead and get that. That's important to us, getting a lot of research at the start of the game. Don't really need the polymer factory and fuel refinery just quite yet. Um, this is not really the greatest to start for researches. So we'll uh, get the magnetic filtering, and then we can get that, and then that. And that will get us started. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Uh, milestones, we reached our first milestone and found water on Mars on soul number one. Uh, we did find an anomaly right there. Let's go ahead and bring our rocket down, and we will have it land right. Uh, have it right land right there. All right. So the first thing we need to do is get some of our resource production up and running. So let's go to production, and we'll go to the concrete extractor. Um, oh, we gotta wait for the rocket to land. All right. Let's look at that beautiful rocket landing. All that fire and flame. And it is coming in for a solid landing. Down goes the launch pad, and we can see our RC commander rolling out. We'll move him over here a little bit. Uh, we have our RC explorer, which we will send to start scanning the anomaly. And then our transport can pick up resources. Let's see if we can see any metals on the map. There we go. We will send him over there to start picking up metals. All right, and let's get the game speed going up just a little quicker. All right, so concrete extractor. And we will put that right there. And then I want to also go ahead and put down a water pump. So let's head over to life support. And we will get our water pump selected there. There we go. And then obviously both of these buildings will need power. So let's start 
by building a power cable. Oops, just a little too close. There we go. And that can go from there to there. And those will now be connected to our Sterling generators. And we're gonna put one right next to that and one right next to that. In addition, we are going to need some storage for the waste rack that both of these will be producing here momentarily. So let's go ahead and pick a large dumping site and we will tuck that right. Hmm. Let's tuck that over here actually, kind of a little more out of the way. All right, so that will give them a source to put the waste rock down. We're waiting on metals for both of these, I think. Uh, concrete, and I think this needs metal, yeah. So that needs five metal. So let's see how our transport is doing, and it was able to collect us 12 metal. So we'll have it bring the metals over here. We will also put down just a universal storage uh, so we can get our resources out of the rocket, allow the drones to start doing that. We researched that first anomaly and got a thousand research. Um, so we got another milestone, completed that research. Uh, I don't see any other anomalies we can research now, but as we scan, we will obviously produce more. So we got the 12 metals over here, fantastic. Let's see where else we can gather some resources with our transport. And I'm not really seeing any, so this might be a, um, a longer start, or it might take a little longer for us to get going because we're gonna have to find metals. Um, let's see, is there any over here? Maybe we gotta wait for the sectors to be scanned. I think that's what we have to do. All right, so we will hang out here while we wait for metal. So we got concrete being extracted now, that is fantastic. And you can see it's purely automated and it's just that big rolly thing that goes out, grabs some concrete, brings it back in. And then obviously the waste rock, which the drones will take over here and store in the waste rock holder or the large dumping site. The cool thing is if we wanted to open up our sterling generators just like that, we can, and we produce a lot more power, um, but they do wear a little faster. And since power is not really a major concern right now, we will protect them and leave them closed uh, so the dust isn't getting in. All right, so we finished magnetic filtering and we finished um, the Explorer AI. So we're getting another additional 100 research a day. Let's see what we've unlocked. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones and increases maximum number of drones to 80. So that's pretty useful. Um, and we could build the farm, which produces food, large in-dome building, which is more work efficient, requires no power. Uh, that will actually be quite useful. Let's get, actually, hold on, I wanna switch this with that. There we go. So that will be useful in the late early game section. All right, so we got our water pump running and we got our concrete extractor running. Uh, I think we're going to build our dome, our first dome, probably right here. This looks like a good area to build it in. So let's go ahead and start planning for that. I want to put our dome down, and basic dome, and let's put that guy right, right here like that. We are going to turn off um, construction of it because I don't want them putting all the resources on it just quite yet. Let's run our power line there, um, and we're gonna run it from here to there, perfect. Um, and then we'll also go ahead and put some piping in. Oops, don't wanna build more power line than we need. Um, so let's go per life support and pipe. So pipes will carry air, water, and uh, fuel. And we'll build that to there, perfect. So they can start building that as well. Uh, we need to go ahead and get some fuel being produced here. Uh, we'll drop down a water tank so we can store some water in it. And then we'll also go ahead and put down our fuel refinery, which is under production here. And let's go ahead and tuck that right. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate, rotate, rotate. Um, yeah, I know how to open the build menu. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine there. So we can go ahead and start making some fuel for our rocket ship so we can send this guy back to Earth and collect more resources that we need. Um, so we need to get more metal because I think that's what's going to be holding us up. It's saying uh, must connect in a water consumer. So this is connected. Um, I don't know why it's saying it isn't. I guess it's lying to us. That's okay. Let's see if we've discovered any more metal resources. So this thing is 99% scanned. Let's see if it pops up some more ground metal here there we go 
metal there. Um, our explorer can scan that anomaly. Um, but I'm not seeing any metal on the ground, which is what we need desperately. Um, no metal here, no metal there. Oh, here's some metal. Here we go. Okay. So let's get our transport. And he's going to come over here and start collecting some of that. And there, ooh, 41 metal. So that's quite a bit. And that should help us out a lot. So he'll go over there and start collecting that. Um, we can go ahead and turn this on, I guess. So they can go ahead and start putting resources down. We got nothing else to do. We also need to go ahead and make sure we have our drone hub. So while we're waiting on all that, we can drop our drone hub there as well. Uh, mandatory upgrades. Let's see what this wants us to do. Close out those two. All right. Or, yeah, upgrades. Uh, the Mission HQ on Earth has declared the effectiveness of our resource extraction as main priority. The extractor amplification project has received a massive funding increase, and a lot of scientific focus has been shifted towards it. The top brass wants you to begin installing the new upgrades as soon as possible. So the tech extractor amplification has been revealed and costs fifty percent less. So we could request material, gain a supply pod, gain a supply pod with ten drones and sixty polymer, or we could get a scientific grant, which reveals the rest of amplification techs, and they cost twenty percent less. Hmm. Um. So this is going to help us short term. This is going to help us definitely long term. So we'll go long term here, and let's go check out the um, research tree here. So as you can see, we can get extractor amplification, factory amplification, and the research amplification. Those have all been shown to us, so that's good. Um, let's see, apartments will certainly be useful, so let's go ahead and put that on our list as well as we get ready to start uh, bringing in some human people for our dome. We've got most of our resources still need to be brought over. Let's see how our RC transport's doing. He's almost full up on metal. Got 11 out of 30. So that's good. He's still collecting that. This is still saying we're not producing any water, which I just find really, really, really hard to believe because that says it's not connected. I don't know. I guess maybe we need to build this one next. Um, but that's okay. Our drones are busy moving concrete around. Got all of our polymers there, so that's good. Uh, low water, I know. A new anomaly has been found. I don't know, can we even reach that? I don't think we can reach that with our explorer. That's okay. My guess is a meteor crashed up there, and that's why that popped up. Yep, we can close that out. Let's see where our explorer's at. He is down here. Let's bring him back kind of here so we don't lose him. All right, let's see how the transport's doing. It has got 28 out of 30 metal. It is almost ready to come back home with a little bit of extra metal for us. So that's going to leave, what, 11 metal there? That is better than nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and come back and unload your metal resources there so we can continue to expand everything we need. As you can see, if you don't have resources to start at the game, things move pretty slowly, but that's okay. While we're waiting on that, Comment down below uh, what you think about NASA landing the, the rover on the moon, or excuse me, the moon, on Mars. Uh, it's pretty exciting for me. I know some people uh, are like, oh, why are we spending money on that project? Um, but, you know, let me know what you think and what you're excited for and, you know, how we should use this opportunity to continue uh, with just expanding as the human race. All right, so this is still saying fuel refinery is not connected, but clearly it's got pipes there. And clearly this has got water. Uh, oh, is this? Because that's not connected. I see, I see. Silly me. I assume that was connected. So let's go ahead and put a pipe there to there. And that will allow us to pump water out. Uh, so that was my bad, my bad indeed. I thought we were appropriately set up there. And there we go. Now we should, yep, everything is good to go. Um, ooh, that did burn a lot of the, um, what is that? The, uh, I'm blanking on the, the machine parts. There we go. Oh, well. All right, so we've completed life from Mars. Uh, engineers and Jaws have plus 10 performance in their work speciality. 
Uh, so that will be important as well, but not quite yet. Um, let that keep going. Dome, we've got 20 out of 20 metal. Almost all the concrete and all the polymers. Let's send our transport, there it is, back to go ahead and collect the last of this metal. Uh, where it is? Right there. Because we will obviously need more in the future. Um, as we get ready for humans, we are going to need to make sure we have uh, plenty of oxygen available. Um, so that will be our next thing to start building. Uh, and we can go ahead and build a moxie. And we'll drop that right there and make sure it's connected to the pipe. And then we also go ahead and build an oxygen tank and make sure that's connected to the pipe as well. Um, let's see. Is there anything else our explorer can go scan? Not quite yet. That's okay. Our transport's picking up some more metal. Ooh, there's an asteroid falling to the ground. So there is some metal resources we could collect that will be extremely useful for us in the future. All right, so we are producing air, but it's not connected to anything. So let's go ahead and turn that off for now because um, we'll need to finish building the oxygen tank. And even then, we don't quite need that. Another new anomaly. Perfect. That's where that meteor landed. So let's grab our explorer and send it over there. All right, so he's doing that. How's our transport doing? He picked up that 11 metal. Let's have him pick up this metal, 7 metal, and bring all that back home for us to use. 73 out of 80. The dome is almost ready. So I'm getting excited. Let's get, uh, oh, it's just a stack of all the resources there. Yeah. All right. So we've got a, a pretty good setup for the colony. Um, you know, obviously it's pretty small and in its infantile stages, but that's, that's okay. Uh, as our rocket comes back with more resources, because like I said, we got that 4.1 billion billion with a b to spend on resources when it's ready to go back 18 so let's bring this metal back home and that will help us with expanding the colony eventually we will make sure we get a um a landing pad probably like right here ish um it's actually a decent spot to put our landing pad so we're not kicking up all that dust in that when the the rocket ship leaves and there we go our first dome is built we don't have anything in it and it's not ready for people but that is okay it is at least up and running we got that milestone uh so anomaly scan we finished soil adaptation so we got the big farm we're researching the loji high rise which will allow us to build apartments um let's see what's the next thing we probably want uh yeah we'll go ahead and get loji drive for the drones and then the hydroscopic Evaporators will improve uh, the moisture evaporators, which produce water for us. All right, so let's look inside the dome and go ahead and start putting down some buildings. Uh, the farm is going to take up a lot of room, but it's really good at producing food, and obviously we need food for our people. So we'll start with a farm there. We will hang off till we get the uh, low... Um, G apartments because that is really good for building. Um, we will want to make sure we have, I don't want to put a full space bar down. Let's put down the small space bar, rotate that and we'll tuck that there. And then let's put down the diner and put that there. And then let's also put down an infirmary. So now we got food, entertainment and medicine. We will also want to put an open air gym for activity. And then I think a small grocery store. And we can tuck that right here at the tip. And we will put down uh, on the, here we go, on the inside. Let's go ahead and put down a small little garden. And we also put down a small little fountain, which will give them a, uh, some other things to do our people as they get here we will also want to put down um go to education we will want to put down a nursery which allows the little children to live in without taking up room in the um the housing and then we will want to put down a playground for them as well 
And then we will also put down a research lab right here. Perfect. And we will leave this open for the low G housing. We can put down another little um, decoration. And let's go ahead and put a statue right there. There we go. All right, so our drones will get to work and start producing all of this within the dome. So we are in pretty good shape. Not quite ready for people. We have run out of power. We Ooh, negative 13 power. All right, so let's um, put down a windmill, a large windmill, and we will put that guy right here. All right, so our drones will get to work. What did we need for that? Concrete and machine parts, which I'm pretty sure we have both of, hopefully. Yep, plenty of machine parts and definitely plenty of concrete. How are we doing on fuel? 13 out of 15, or excuse me, 13 out of 50 fuel. We researched uh, the high rise. I know we don't have any of that yet. That's okay, because that we're doing on purpose. So let's go to education and housing. Um, it is cramped. Uh, we could go with living complex. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go with living complex in this one. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, living complex. We're doing living complex. It's better. Doesn't cram as much people in there, but I think it'll be better in the long run. All right, so let's go check out our research since that finished. Um, cargo by 10,000. Do, do, do. Let's see what these other two unlock. All right, do we got enough power yet? We're still at negative 13 power. What are we waiting on? We got machine parts. There's no concrete being produced. All right, so we will have to open up our sterling generators. So we make sure we get some more power going and start collecting a little bit more concrete so we can use that to uh, build this windmill we need to build here. So we need eight concrete that is running. The dome is set up as well. Well, don't forget to comment down below, like I said, on any of the uh, colony building games you have liked to play in the past, whether they are Mars or space in general. Let me know which ones you like, don't like, and I will certainly check them out. Don't forget to like this video. And obviously, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you in the next Surviving Mars game.